Good morning, good morning to you. I know, corny. So hi everybody, it's me, Jennifer. Just finished taking a shower. I wanted to just share some ideas and thoughts with you about how I feel about my weight loss journey. I have been on a weight loss journey for two and a half years. Um, it's been taking me a long time to lose, but I have lost as of the last weigh in. One point, I'm sorry, one point, <laughs> that, would, that, would, that would be bad. 101.2 pounds, okay? I went from uh, 378 pounds to the last time I weighed myself, like I said, I was 276. So, um, and a couple of, you know, ounces or whatever. And um, there are some things that, you know, it's very difficult and very hard to do but it becomes easier and fun, and there's some techniques I might want to share with all of y'all. So maybe if you are having difficult times being on a program or wanting to be on a program but not being able to or haven't been motivated to, I'm here to help you and see some, you know, have some clarity. Look, I'm no expert at uh, you know certain things, but I am an expert at dieting. I think because I've been on a diet all my life. I have, I'm an expert at um, failing and starting over. You know what I mean? And um, I just want to tell you that um, as hard as it can be, it can become easier and easier. And you can just dupe your body and thinking that it's full and eat things that you know you necessarily wouldn't eat before that you'll eat now with happiness and love. You know what I mean? So let me give you some things that I do because there are things that I would not, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> post needs a drip. There are some things that I'm unable and was unable or meaning that I wasn't willing to give up. I'll name 10 things that I was not willing to give up on this weight loss journey. Okay. I was not willing to give up pizza. I am part Italian. My grandmother from Naples, well, she was American, but... She was from Naples. Her name was Nancy or Nunziata Capolongo. And she used to make the most awesome food. That's where I learned how to cook, really, to be honest, um, through my, my um, grandmother. My mom cooked good, but my grandmother, she, she could throw down. So anyway, so pizza. Can't give up pizza, all right? But I don't have to have it a lot. Like, I can have it. If I make it at home, I even like it better because I'll get, like, some boboli bread or uh, you know french bread and i'll get low fat cheese and i'll make it at home and i really love that a lot but there's um pizzeria in um in an old bridge in jersey called luigi's pizza and it's on route 516 if anyone wants to, wants to try it out i think it's the best pizza in new jersey because it really takes tastes like brooklyn brooklyn um pizza you know like story of pizza like very authentic crispy just delicious pizza so pizza i was not able to give up um, flavored coffee creamer, right? Any kind. But instead of using the um, regular flavored coffee creamer that is like 60 calories for two tablespoons, um, I get the sugar-free or the fat-free, which is a little bit more calories, and then I'm able to have it in the mind. Like, I'm thinking, okay, I can still have this, but it's less calories. Or I get the powdered kind from the dollar store, believe it or not. And I don't really measure it out. But I do put Truvia, like the green packet, two Truvias. I'll put the, uh, a little bit of milk in my coffee, like uh, it's like 1%, 2% milk, um, no more than that. Sometimes skim if that's what I have in the house. And then what I do is I, um, man, I hope I'm not boring you. I know I, I, I'm not boring myself because it's interesting to hear myself think about all the changes I've made. So hopefully I'm not boring you, okay? So, all right, so I like the flavored creamer. So when I have coffee, I don't have it every day. Like, you know, some people have it every day. They have to have it every day. I don't have to have coffee every day. Three times a week, I'm cool. But I have to have it with the way I like to have it. And it probably is about 80 to 90 calories that way. And I'm good because I enjoy it. Okay, the third thing I was unable to give up was chips. Chips of any kind. I um, try to make alternative decisions though about chips like i'll have air pop popcorn which is one cup of air pops popcorn um with no real substantial seasonings like my mom makes this 
the best popcorn ever. And she adds, adds a little grated cheese on it, so it would be more calories. Let's say 45 to 50 calories a cup, but that's still good. A cup of pop popcorn is pretty pretty big, and I usually have about five cups. So it's five to fifty. So let's see. So it comes out to about 150 to 200 calories um, a serving. So it's almost like a lunch or like a big snack and I'll add like raisins to it and stuff like that. But anyway, so I wasn't able to give up chips because I love Pringles, I love Doritos, love all that stuff. But I do have serving sizes and I don't have it every day because I'll make different decisions like pop chips, uh, chips that are less calories or the veggie straws, those are like 50% less fat and they're baked. So I'll, I need the that I'm a salty girl, like I like salty food, so I need crunch and munch, stuff like that. All right, let's see what else I wasn't able to give up. Um, well, rice from time to time, but I, I can't live without rice, but I don't need it often. So maybe once a week I'll have rice. Pasta, also the same thing. I was unable to give it up because I didn't want to, but I don't eat that about once a week. Let's see. Uh, cheese. I can just drizzle cheese all over my body, body. I mean, I love cheese, man. Any kind of cheese. Especially that, I, I don't know if you've ever tried Dubliner Irish cheese. Oh, man. This is the best cheese on the planet. It's gritty. It has little pieces that almost like, like that are hard in there. And it's um, very gamey. And, oh, man. I could eat uh, 50 loads of that. But I don't. So I get a little block like this. I cut it in seven that's uh, six or seven ounces, six and seven pieces rather. It's it's literally seven ounces for this little thing. So I'll have like an ounce and a quarter when I have it. So cheese is not bad for you, but too much cheese, you know, it's not, you know, it's not good for your coronary arteries and stuff, right? So let me, I'm going to turn over this way because my hand is getting up. All right. So let's see what else I wasn't able to give up. I said 10 things. I don't think I can think of 10 things. Um, bread. Oh, yeah, yeah, bread. I wasn't able to give up bread at all. I wasn't willing to give up bread. I love a good, that's what I'm having today. I'm going to make a really yummy sandwich uh, with uh, seeds on it. I have this bread with seeds on it. I'm going to put low-fat turkey, low-fat cheese, a little um, mayo, and some tomato slices. And I'm going to have a cup of tea with um, honey and lemon. And uh, I don't know what else I'm going to have, but that's for now. Maybe a cut up apple. So um wasn't willing to give up bread, but instead of like white bread, I veer towards the high grain, multi-grain, uh, sprout bread, bread without any salt, um, bread with lots of, um, you know, grains in it and seeds and stuff like that, oats, stuff like that. So good quality high grain bread. I tried that paleo stuff. It's disgusting. That Ezekiel bread, it's gross. I'm not having that, okay? That's disgusting. Sorry. If people need that because they're diabetic or people need that because they truly want to be in like a, a low-carb um, diet and that's what they want, that's their thing. And, and I respect that, but I'm not going to do that. Now, I'm going to keep it real. I'm not on a diet. Sorry, I have to keep switching my hand. Um, I have carpal tunnel in my left hand, so it's um hurting me a little. Anyway, I'm not willing to... Uh, uh, what, no, no, what do I want to say is... Whatever diet you're on, like, okay, diets don't work, okay? Diets, diets don't work in the long run. This is a proven fact. This is not me talking. I'm, I'm just a regular person on a journey to lose weight and get healthy and be healthy. But in my opinion and in my experience, diets don't work. I did Metafast, which is like, Optifast, but it's it's a little less restrictive. You have a shake in the morning, a shake in the afternoon, and then you have a, a very sparse meal at night and like two snacks of like apple or vegetables, or whatever. And uh, you can have like grilled chicken and salad stuff like that. It's very very strict. Optifast is a shake in the morning, shake in the afternoon, shake at night. That's it. Just shakes a liquid diet. Uh, okay, and then what else? Um, I've done the cabbage soup diet. We all know what that is. I've done the um, Jenny Craig. I did Nutrisystem. That worked for me uh, years ago. I lost 78 pounds and gained it all back. Uh, <laughs> I went to Camp Shane, which is a famous weight loss camp, uh, four years um, for four years in my youth, my younger younger years. I'm not that old, but you know, I was um, nine, eleven, 
15 and 20, no, and, uh, and 19. My parents spent in excess of $25,000 for the total of the four summers, plus all kinds of supplies and stuff, let's say 30000 to send me away to try to get me to lose weight. Every summer, I would come back skinny. And then by the end of the school year, I would be back to chubby little beautiful Jennifer. So that didn't work out because I didn't learn the life skills that I know now as an adult, okay? One summer, I lost 48 pounds in nine weeks and nobody could remember, could recognize me. I remember I was, I was totally smitten by this dude named Mike Morgan. Um, he was a biracial dude. He was real beautiful. Uh, he was Irish and black. He was gorgeous, but he was real mean to me. He was, he, he was nice to me when we were alone. And then when, when he was with friends and shit, he would throw um, hamburgers at me and call me fat and stuff like that. So, um, so when I came back, I was on Broadway. I grew up in Astoria, Queens. He saw me, he's like, oh my God, Jennifer, whatever happened to the other half of you? That kind of stuff. And I was like, I love this guy. I want to go marry him and have all his kids. Like I was thinking that in my mind, I was like, but I played it real cool. I was like, yeah, what's up, Mike? You want to go out tonight, baby? Wow, ooh, honey. I was like, hmm. I wanted to say, hell yeah, but I did not say hell yeah. I said, hmm, all his friends were there. I remember a guy named Eric and Chico and all these guys, uh, Pasquale and all these people. They were all there, and, and he hugged me tight, real tight. I wanted to embrace him, really. I liked him a lot. And um, and when he said, you want to go out tonight? I was like, hmm, hell no. And he was like, what do you mean? What do you mean? I was like... Let me talk to you. And I talked to him privately on the side. And I said, nine weeks ago, you threw hamburgers at me in the street and called me fat. And then he looked down. I said, now I lost 48 pounds. I'm still chubby, but I lost a lot of weight. It's true. I am the same girl that I was nine weeks ago. What's the difference now? Oh, you know, peer pressure, my boys, my boys, this and my boys. I said, Listen, as much as I would love to go out with you, it ain't happening. It's 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 a done deal. It's over. I don't want to talk to you right now. You've hurt my feelings, and it's only about you. Oh, come on, come on. Let's go out. We'll have a good time. And I turned him down, and um, it was the right decision. Excuse me, my hand. It was the right decision. <laughs> oh, my God. Was okay. It was the right decision because he was, um, you know, he was a nice guy, I guess, but he wasn't a nice guy to me. And I wasn't going to have that. I wasn't going to have someone only going out with me because I lost weight. I mean, look at me, man. I'm super fly. And I don't need anyone to not love me or be with me because I'm fat or chubby or big or plus size, whatever you want to call it. Because that's what I still am, even after losing 102 pounds. You know what I'm saying? So... He didn't say anything rude to me. He goes, oh, man, girl, I'm sorry. And then he walked away with his head down. All his friends went, ooh, ah. And he goes, shut the F up, he said to his friends. And he, he went in his black car, and he rolled down the window. He went, peace, like that. And he didn't, he didn't look happy. He wasn't mad at me. He was mad at himself. And I never really um, saw him again like that. Um, you know, that was that. And I made the right decision. But I'm, I'm getting off on a tangent. I know that I'm getting off on a tangent. But anyway, so diets don't work um, because you don't, if you don't learn the skills to become healthy in the mind, because, you know, this is a genetic uh, predisposition. They've already made that decision that people who are uh, supremely overweight or obese, if you want to use that word, which I don't really like that word, or big or fat or whatever, super size or big and beautiful or voluptuous, whatever, and have been that way for years and years and years and years, no matter what kind of diet they've been on, whatever, whatever. Even people who do gastric bypass, gastric sleeve, gastric banding can gain it back because our cells, our genetics predispose us to be big. So it's very, very difficult to keep the weight off. It's not hard to lose if you really do it. It's hard to keep it off because our fat cells call out for that food. You know what I'm saying? So saying that, let's see what other diets I've tried. I've tried, um, oh God. Uh, oh, I did the, the Dr. Atkins diet and I did that for two weeks. I remember um, a family member that I know um, that I used to talk to. I don't talk to him anymore, thank God. Um, he um, did it, 
and he lost like a hundred pounds. Um, and all he, that's my dog. That's my dog. Um, hold on a second. Sorry, Scooby-Doo is talking. He was going, <laughs> my dog wanted to go out, but I can't let him out because the mailman's coming and I need my mail. So he was going, no, 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 <laughs> it's too weird, old man. Crazy dog. Anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, <laughs> if you saw my dog, he was going, I was like, man, you are crazy as dog. So, um, so anyway, back to this long 15 minute video about weight loss journey, diet, whatever. Um, so anyway. So I've tried every diet. I, I'm not going to go through all the diets I've tried, but I did try the Dr. Atkins diet, and I got sick. I remember taking ham and cheese and rolling it in carrot sticks and then having no vegetables at all except for salad and then gobbing it all with, with all kinds of salad dressings and, and eggs and bacon. I, I, I was vomiting. I, I was so sick. My stomach hurt, and I gained two pounds each week. Come on now. It did not work for me, okay? And I was doing everything I was supposed to do. So that did not work. So the only program that I ever felt that uh, really had any merit at all was Weight Watchers. So about three and a half years ago, okay, three and a half years ago, I, um, well, you know what? I fell at my dad's house and really hurt my leg. And I think I, I attribute this blood clot that I found out that I had. Um, I got a blood clot in my, my right leg. And, uh, you know, I didn't know what, what the pain was. I, I thought I was, I was still exercising at the gym. So like like a year prior to that, I had fallen and really hurt my leg. I bruised my leg and I fell outside too of this apartment I was living in. It's all uh, after uh, post Hurricane Sandy. You know we're Hurricane Sandy survivors, so post Hurricane Sandy bull crap. I um I um fell okay twice, and I got this blood clot in my leg. Went to the hospital. I weighed about two hundred fifty three hundred fifty three pounds, right? And I was in the hospital for eight days. Got home. And before I got home, the doctor said, look, you're healthy. You don't have diabetes. You don't have anything wrong with you, pretty much. You should go on a program to lose weight. What about gastric, gastric bypass? So I was like, yeah, hell no. That's not going to happen. For me. For me. And I don't care about anybody else. Out there. Not that I don't care. You know what I mean? You want to do it, Joe? You want to do it, Linda? You want to do it, Mary? That's fine. Do it. Do whatever you, ha you need to do to lose weight if that's what you want to do. For me, those surgeries are not an option. I don't want to do that. No, I want to eat. And lose weight naturally. Okay, that's my thing. So, but I support you on your journey, okay? All right, because I have friends that have had that done and, and they're successful. But I know a lot of people have it done and they're sick. And I have a girl, girl, I have a girlfriend of mine who told me that she regrets doing it and she is green around the gills and she cannot eat anything but pizza. She told me that and she wishes that she had never done it. That's the those non success stories with those surgeries. Well, anyway, so, um, so saying all that, I came back from the hospital after uh, recuperating with a blood clot, and I gained even more weight. By the time I, that guy, that's my dog in the background, sorry. So I tried and tried and tried to do it on my own, honestly, and I, I, I not that I couldn't, but I wasn't ready. Then I, I weighed myself one day, and I almost broke the scale, because I threw it across the room, I was so angry, and I weighed 373 pounds on Weight Watchers, but I know I was bigger than that on the long run. So I was 378 and I went like, went down and up and down. And when I went, eventually went to Weight Watchers, I was like 373, okay, something like that. And I was like, oh my God, this is too big. I got to find a Weight Watchers meeting right now. So I did, I went and I got weight and I went on that journey. I was on Weight Watchers for a year and a half and I did it, okay? But they changed the program from Points Plus to Smart Plus. Smart points. And I didn't like the way the lady that was doing the meeting was like saying to me, well, you have to do smart points. Now, I was like, but <laughs> there's certain things in this life, honey, that I have to do. And that's not something I have to do anything. I have to die. I have to pay taxes. I have to take care of my my family, blah, blah, blah. But there are certain things I don't have to do. And I don't have to do smart points because points plus was working for me. I was losing weight. All of a sudden, smart points now. I mean, you don't, I, I say don't fix what ain't broken you know that old saying and so i said we had like 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 a powwow in, in the meeting and she was like well this is what i'm teaching you guys this is what i've learned i said 
listen, I'm going to do whatever it takes for me to lose weight. If Points Plus is working for me and I still have the Points Plus book, this is just a big racket you people are doing because you're making new books and new books. The same, it's the same premise, same thing. Eat whatever you want within reason. Exercise, drink water, get good sleep, and lose weight. That's how you do it. That's what it was. So I got upset and I left. Not for prideful reasons, but because I could do it on my own. I don't need to have a program anymore. I was ready to to delve deep by myself. So what I did was I went to um, I download. I canceled Weight Watchers. But I continued to have the Weight Watchers mentality, you know, like points and calories and thing. And I was really like obsessed and obsessed in a good way. And then what I did was I put my fitness pal on my phone, which is the same thing as Weight Watchers, but with calories. I put, they wanted me to have 2,200 calories. I was like, too many calories. So now I'm putting 1,600 calories and I exercise 11,600 steps a day. And I also, uh, I'm sorry for my dog in the background. He has to go out, but the mailman's coming and I can't let him out. So, um, and then what I do is I try to drink as much water as I possibly can. I hate water, but I do drink it. And I exercise every day. And I'll tell you the exercise I do. I do, I do 35 to 50 minutes of calisthenics a day. And I put that in my weight loss group. Um, uh, so I, but I will tell you what I do. I do sit-ups, push-ups. Uh, leg lifts, um, running in place, what kind of stuff. But I do it at my own pace. And I do it some, a lot of the seated exercises like this. I use um, a five-pound weight, which I have right here. See that? And I do that. I do lots of exercises. And I do walking back and forth in my long hallway 40 to 50 times and walking in place like side to side, like dancing. I do that almost every day. There are certain things I don't do every day. Like weights, I don't do weights every day. I switch off every other day. And walking back and forth maybe three times a week. But I do other activities. I'm always in the car and running around with Violet Rose. And I do I do also, like if I'm in the car, like take this is my cell phone. My cell phone has um, a pedometer on it. One, two, three, four, five. I'm constantly doing this, constantly doing this. That's movement, man. That's movement. You are, if you're immobile or if you have a back condition or you can't, move around right now because you're a little larger than you want to be or you're uh, have, uh, some kind of you know health issue and you can't do you know exercise like you want to you could sit in your chair like i am doing right now and do arm curls tricep dips you can do um punching you know like uh, boxing you can do all kinds of stuff which i you know what well, i'm going to start sharing with you the kinds of exercises that i do daily i'll show you what i do all right so i just wanted to say um that the journey is continuing. I'm going to go now because I have to let my dog out. And I'm going to make lunch. But I just want to tell you that I am so happy to be on this journey. And if anyone out there really does need um, a support system and really wants to be on the healthy path. We're not talking about being skinny here, okay? If you want to be skinny, that's one thing. But if you just want to be healthy and still be a plus size beauty like me, see? See that? That's a plus size girl. Okay? If you want to still be plus size, but healthy, <clears throat> and you need motivation, I'm here for you, okay? My name is Jenny, as you know, and um, I just want to let you know that it is possible to do it and keep it off for the rest of your life. Um, so just wanted to share this video with you. I love you all very much. Peace and love, and we'll talk later, okay? Peace and love out.